In this video, we will show you what Tai Moto Cloud has to offer. Let's take a first look at the cloud itself and its general structure. Every time you log into your Tai Moto Cloud account, you start with the timekeeping page that contains your timer, a list of your current clocking actions, and today's attendance. These are the main features of Tai Moto. We will show the most important features of the timekeeping page later in this video. Planning. This contains everything regarding today's time registration and attendance. We will show the most important features of the planning page later in this video. Reports. This is the reporting of the employee's recorded data. You can export time and pay reports and lock your pay periods. If you are authorized, you can also make adjustments to past clocking actions and add forgotten ones. We will show the most important features of the reports page later in this video. Your employee profile. Click on this icon to access your account profile. If you have editing privileges, you may also edit it there. Options. The different options are browser notifications, day or night mode switch, drop down menu with more options, Keep in mind that the options in the drop-down menu depend on your employee privilege and plan type. Support Center This link at the bottom of your screen leads you directly to the in-app Timemoto Support Center, where you find more helpful information about the features and settings of Timemoto. Scheduled Shifts Here you can find if you have a shift plan for the day and when you've been scheduled. Clocking here you can directly clock in and out your shifts and breaks. Alternatively, this can also be done at a Timemoto clock or with the Timemoto mobile app. Furthermore, you can select a project from the list on the left to register your work time under a specific project. Recent clocking actions. Here you can keep track of the clocking actions that you have carried out today. Today's attendance. See who is working today who is planned as absent or who is missing from work. Depending on the color, the employees are either registered as present, green, absent or missing from work, red, or are not planned in at all, white. For a better overview, filter this list or search for an employee in the search bar. You can also make adjustments in the planning here directly if you are authorized to do so. This is a list of all active employees in your company. You are able to apply filters if you want to see only a selected group of people. The calendar. In this grid you can view and edit the planning of the employees. Depending on your viewing type and your selected date, you will find the activities and absences of a specific period of time. That way you can always see who is available or not. Employees information. Click on any employee to gain access to more information about them. Assigning activities. To assign new activities or absences to an employee, choose their respective row and select a date in the correct column. Click on it to assign schedules, individual shifts, projects, as well as absences such as holiday or sick leave. You can also click on an existing activity to view or edit it. Filters. Use filters to get a selected view of your employees. You can search for an employee in particular or you can filter a group of people depending on their location and or department or even their current attendance. It is also possible to combine multiple filters. Add Employees. Open the drop down menu and click on Settings. If you then select Employees on the left, you can add more employees to your list. Be aware that you might need to update your accounts plan if you have reached the limit of your capacity of employees for Time Motor Cloud. This field specifies the period of the report. By default, this covers a complete pay period. You can define or redefine pay periods at any time in the general information settings. 
You can also select a specific time frame if you want to generate a specific report. Report types. Timeoto distinguishes between two different report types. Timesheets, which focus primarily on work time, and pay reports, which focus on the actual payout of the work time. You can switch between the types to your desire. Viewing type. You can choose whether you want a day-by-day -day view or a brief overview of the selected period. Daily view provides you with more detailed information about the clocking actions of a single employee, while the overview can be useful if you want to see just a quick overview of multiple employees. Locking pay periods. If you have made all the adjustments in a specific pay period, you can lock it. That way no more changes can be done and the data is safe from any manipulation in the future. Only managers can unlock pay periods, so it would be recommendable to close these only when all the data is correct. Exporting reports. If you need to, you can export your reports as a PDF or Excel file. You can send these files to your employees or use them to process the data further externally, such as for your accountancy. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, go to youtube.com/timemoto.